Hello there. Today we're going to look at White Gloves by Karangbim. The thing that I like about this song is its seamless chord progression that manages to loop back into itself while still maintaining interest through the entire song. I also really like how in Karangbin in general they use the voice as more of an instrument in the band rather than a soloist. I think that's quite cool. The chords we'll need for this song are a G minor 9. Now this chord is quite hard to play unless you play it with a thumb, but not impossible. Then we'll need a B flat over C, a C7, a C7 sus4, a D minor 7 sus4, D minor 7, D minor 9. Let's have a look at the chord progression now. So we're going to need to play the melody and the chords at the same time in this song. In the first bar, we start off with the G minor 9 chord. But we have a grace note from the G to the A, which is the 9th. So that would sound like... And we hold that for a beat and a half. One and two. Then on the and of two, we change to the G again. And then on the four, we change to the D. That would sound like... One and two and three and four and in the next bar we're just going to play a fragment of the G minor nine chord. So that's just going to be the D string, G string, and B string. Except on the B string we're going to play the F, that is the sixth fret. So it starts off with that holding for a beat and a half. One and two. Then we shift this F down to an E and hold that for a beat and a half. And three and then on the 4th beat we just play the D, which is the 3rd fret. So that whole bar would sound like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... In the next bar we're going to start off with the B flat over C. And we're going to hold that for a beat and a half before changing to the C7 to finish off the bar. That would sound like 1 and 2 and... In the next bar we're going to start off on the B flat over C again, hold that for a beat and a half, then come up to the C7, where we're going to hold that for a beat, and then on the and of 3 we're going to shift it up to a C7 sus4, then play the G for the 4th beat. So that would sound like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. In the next bar, we're going to boost up to the D minor 7 sus4. Hold that for a beat and a half. 1 and 2. Then on the and of 2, we're going to come down to a regular D minor 7. And hold that for the rest of the bar. So that would sound like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Then in the next bar, we're going to play the D minor 9 chord. Hold that for a beat and a half. Then we're going to come up to the D minor 7 chord for one beat. Then on the and of three, we're going to do the D minor 7 sus 4. And then on the four, we're going to have the A from the D minor 7 up top. So that's going to sound like one and two and three and four and. For your reference, the whole thing sounds like this. One and two. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing to keep up to date with the latest releases. There's also a backlog of other videos which you could check out as well. If you wanted to see some videos of myself performing, there should be a link somewhere around my head.